Uh, well, folks, like a doomsday prophet, I told you that much like the guy who writes these episodes, whoever is writing reality is dealing with a spicy case of the booze desire. Mm, I love scotch. I love scotch. Scotch is got scotch. I'm currently on the run. A bandito. Barely escaping with my life from the many bounty hunters and mercenaries sent after me by the IRS. Oh, shit! You fast! Grab what you ain't fast on Apparently, they're really hungry for my back taxes. So I told them they could eat my girthy hog. Now, they sent Juan El Pollo, their enforcer, after me. So I'm hiding in the one place I know he'll never look. A bar. In a place that'll never, ever be disclosed. <laughs> Speaking of hogs, in these times of universal cluster fuckery, I want us to take in a deep breath. Isn't that nice? Okay, now let's talk about the only thing that will unite all of America. And that's the overwhelming volume of technologically empowered war fighting. I know we always talk about the people stories, but today you need to be briefed on the world ender, the life ender, ladies and gentlemen, the murder hog. They ain't alive no more. That's The A-10 Thunderbolt II, known to us as the Warthog, is indisputable proof that everyone in the military-industrial complex is coked out and probably a sociopath. <laughs> With a speed of 420 miles per hour, a range of 800 miles, and a ceiling of 45,000 feet, the Warthog will get from the tarmac all the way to the battlefield before the raging boner of the pilot causes him or her to pass the fuck out from erectile overload. I don't know how that works for her, but you, know, you might can figure it out. It's equipped with a 30 millimeter Avenger seven barrel Gatling gun. More on that later. It can carry up to 16,000 pounds of ordnance, ranging from laser guided bombs, cluster bombs, Maverick air to ground missiles, AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles. Yeah, you get it. The point is this damn thing is just a big gun with a goddamn airplane built around it. It's not super flashy. It's not particularly fast when it's compared to other pieces of American flying hardware. And if you haven't seen one in action, you might not think much of it. But you'd be wrong, motherfucker! The Warthog isn't designed to get the pilot laid. It's designed to show up on the battlefield, turn everyone into asshole-flavored ravioli. Basically, just feng shui all the plans of the enemy. And then get back to base so the pilots can ice their red-hot American generals. <laughs> So if you're pinned down by 20 goat fuckers on a mountainside and think, well, wouldn't it be nice if we just murdered the whole fucking mountain? Call in the murder hog! If the murder hog gets your ass with the Avenger cannon, well... Oh my God. They're just gonna bury your ass in a Ziploc bag. So yeah, this isn't your vegan metrosexual type of Air Force machinery. <laughs> this shit is the Joe Rogan of the flying world. <laughs> you wanna know how effective this thing is? Take a solid look. This is Iraq, 1991, the so-called Highway of Death. During Desert Storm, the murder hog flew approximately 8,100 sorties with a mission capable rate of 95.7%. They killed 987 tanks, 926 artillery pieces, and over a thousand trucks, 51 scud launchers, and thousands of ground troops and support personnel. They were so aggressive, U.S. forces took as much care with designating themselves as non-targets as they did in guiding themselves towards the enemy. Because, like the money shot, once this thing is airborne, somebody's getting splashed. <laughs> and perhaps that's why they have a special place in the hearts of grunts. because out of the entire arsenal of the U.S. Air Force, the A-10 Warthog is the killing machine that will turn the tide of even the toughest battle in eight seconds flat. Well, there you have it, folks, the murder hog. Until next time, change your socks, stay hydrated, and remember that knowing you won't get pink misted by the Warthog is one of the many privileges of being an American. Uh.